you know anything about this team? I don't know. Centennial's had some strong youth programs over the past, but uh, we'll see. They look big. I wonder if they're more 10th graders or what. Good face off of Kale. Wins the clamp, boxes out, down the wing. Oh, drops the ball, still figuring out stick skills. That's okay. A loose ball push, Kale runs through it, falls up. Winkler grabs it. There we go, advance. Once you get possession, even on a face off, you got 10 seconds to get a touch in the offensive box. Good wrap check from Sayre Bank. A flag down. Oh my gosh. From the official on the other side of the field, a flag down right away. I heard it hit stick too. You hear the click? Heard the click. Call him for a slash, you only called him for a hold. Yeah, marginal call, okay for a 9 10 game. <laughs> so we'll see what Centennial's man up looks like. Talk of defense, a little out of sorts. <laughs> Lead official is way too high in the box, he needs to get down on goal line. Fortunate to have a two-man crew to today's serious officials deficit here in Minnesota, like everywhere. A little too much pursuit there. Loose ball on the wing. Tonka staying packed in to run this man down defense. There's a large attack, man. Yep. Oh, sailed it. Overthrow. It's going to be Tonka Ball and the restart Kayla, on the Kayla. Centennial Overthrow. Throw down it! Kale puts a stick in one hand, gets across the midline. Little overthrow, that's going to squirt out the end line, come back the other way. Kale, Kale, number eight, right here, right here. Wait, just wait. Don't let him get over. Now cheap middle, now cheap middle. <laughs> He's not just a dad, or <laughs> lacrosse expert. Henry Hiller lays a nice check, dislodges the ball. Forces a bad pass, big attack, and works up to the middle. That kid's got to be 6'3", fighting through traffic. Holy Buffaloes, he's big. Centennial picks up the loose ball, maintains possession. Hiller with a nice pick. Quick up to Phillip. That's a great outlet pass. Winkler needs to move his feet and catch that one. I'll tell you what. I love that kid, but you got to go get it. Good hustle. Saves that ball going out the sideline, though. So Winkler recovers, maintains the possession. Nice job from number seven. Up to God save. God save over to Brody Lee. Up to Sayer. Sayer wants Brody to get a 300, so he'll sweep left hand across the top. Let's see, quick pass back, didn't see it. 300 is going to draw a slide from the middle, and then Brody Lee should be looking for a pass back across the space. Here goes Sayer Bank carrying through X. Donnie Hatch moving out of his way. Good step down opportunity for Hatch. Oh. He takes it. Oh. Good take. Probably want to put that one on a bouncer, but good recognition that that was the opportunity to shoot. Oh, got a stick on the ride. That. Tonka dropping back. They installed a new ride. Match over committing. Centennial offside, sir. Tonka ball on the restart. Hatch on the restart to Lee. Lee pushing, pushing cage. Left hand shot low to high. Did not have backup. Centennial goalie was closer. Come back the other way. Now lacrosse game, it's track meet. <laughs> Tonka drops into the ride. I think they installed a new ride after maybe the prior late game or the prior game. Jump, jump. 
God save now riding. Got to move your feet. Not one check. Move your feet. Play basketball defense. Good clear from Centennial. They stay on sides. Centennial completes the touch. Centennial looking pretty crisp here on the substitution. That's not a good take. Yep. Good athletic midfielder, but not a very good take. Sails way high and wide. Good job by we got Tavin Thompson, sophomore goalie Tavin Thompson in the cage to turn and chase. Ouch. Ah. Big number two with the first goal for Centennial. Go, Andrew. <laughs> Kale really figuring out the clamp here. Tonka does get the possession and the touch. Philip Winkler pulls it out. It's Thomas Sanders carrying up top, waiting for the offense to get set up. Over to Bank. Bank's got all dodge all day right there. Lefty didn't want to take the righty dodge. Back to Samir at X. Over to Winkler. Just double lap calling Winkler's name. Is he going to get the courage to get this kid going? He needs to roll back hard there. He gets it. Defender over commits top side. Winkler recognizes, feels the pressure, rolls back, takes a good shot. Bounce shot, just misses the back pipe. Centennial's got an athletic defense here. ball back up the other way. Oh, I think it's the sun that's affecting those passes from the left of your screen to the right. Got to be mindful of where the sun is on these days. Oh, close. Good call, sir. Good call. I thought it was going to be two. Nice save from sophomore goalie Tavin Thompson. Clamps it on the crease. Maintains oh. possession. Back to Thompson. Tommy Sanders can't handle the clearing pass. It's a push in the back. Nice clearing pass. Tonka going to get the touch. Hit bank right here. Bank will crank. Nope. Oh, Steps tonk. around. Cranks. He can get his hands free. He does. Wink, uh, Samir on the run out. Tonka will maintain possession. Nice clear by White. Good opportunity by uh, number six. Couldn't quite get his hands free in, in the traffic on the crease. Coach Dunlap suggesting that Tonka just spin the ball. Try to stretch the Centennial defense a little bit. Now Sanders wants that alley dodge, though. The slide's right there. Oh. Sanders pulls the string anyway. Ooh. Whacks the defender right in the thigh. That's the risk of playing with the big poles. Bank riding. A little high. Got to keep it lower, Sayer. Get the low. Get the stick. Get the stick. Get the stick. Nice. Good recognition by Coach Dunlap on the late substitution there for Centennial. Yeah, too many. It's a turnover, technical foul. Good clear by Godsave. Up to Bank on the wing. Bank still needs a touch, recognizes and gets it. Behind to Samira. Nice pay. Oh. oh. Good recognition, good feed. Just stick skills, that's okay. Watch ball, drop! Centennial, good clear. And stays back. Centennial gets the touch. Good check. Loose ball, trickles back up towards midfield. But Centennial recovers.
Nice stick. Great check. Ball squirts towards the Tonka sideline. Oh. That official calls the out of bounds. Tonka drops back in on defense. The official's not counting, but he should be. Doesn't matter. Centennial gets the touch. Centennial trying to set up some two-man game. Now wants to dodge down the middle. Brody Lee, the on-ball defender. Centennial looks to swim, loses the ball. Ball sports towards midfield. With emphasis. Brody Lee across midfield. Tonka gets the touch. Phil Winkler a little too quick. But Tonka completes the clear, gets the touch. Here goes Brody Lee shopping, shopping. Looking to set it up. Gonna go lefty. He does. Pulls the string. Soft shot, but a good lefty take. Sayer Bank on the backup. Here goes Cal down the alley. 100's an alley dodge for Tonka. Good stick check by the D midi. That's a free arm push. It's a hold. Get in there, White! Get in there! Cal pursuing the ground ball, but the ball squirts out of bounds. So, as always, 9-10 ball a little messy. Can be difficult to officiate. You gotta figure out what to call and what not on the technicals. Here goes Sayer, play with your feet. No rap checks, play D with your feet. With your feet, squeeze sideline. Squeeze, squeeze, Brody, squeeze. Nice trail check. Pick it up, pick it up. Oops. Hey, press that. Keep him out, keep him out, keep him out. Coach Schmidt instructing his defense not to switch there. That'll be the end of the quarter. Coach Schmidt was instructing his defense not to switch there as Tonka had a good ride on the attack end, managed to dislodge the ball, couldn't quite pick up the ground ball. But once Centennial picks it up in their offensive end across midfield, they have 10 seconds to get a touch in the Tonka's defensive zone in the box. By delaying them from getting that, you can force the failure to advance on the 10 second count. But by switching defenders on the ball carrier, Tonka gave the ball carrier kind of a free clear to the corner of the box and let them complete that 10 second count. So, Coach Schmidt just coaching an IQ point for the team. Excellent analysis. As always. I think Tonka's looking pretty good today. Yeah. Good opportunities. Yeah, like you said, sun may be an issue. JB coach John Drake wanders onto the field. Are we muted? <laughs> no. Are we? No. No. <laughs> Just wants to check the score and see what's up. Unaffiliated with the high school program and feel entitled to coach from this sideline. <laughs> Yeah, I think that sun to the left of your screen is going to be even more of an issue as the afternoon progresses. Just going to dip lower in the sky and make those, I guess those would be west to east passes, even harder as the, the receiver on the right side of your screen looks back into the sun to catch those high clearing passes. So watch for that. As far as I know, there's no scientifically optimal way to position a field to avoid that. This thing, by the way, is magic. I, was, I started watching your video instead of a Tonka one for the 910 game the other day. And I was like, oh, there's no audio. Why is there no audio? Oh, this is smears one that popped up in my feet. It's so smooth, man. So smooth. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Yeah. 
So the teams retake the field. Centennial and Red. Tonka in their home whites. Blue shorts. Tonka's defense now on the right of your screen. Attacking on the left. Face off. Cal wins the clamp. Probably could have been called a hold. It looked like Cal won that clamp. And the Centennial player was holding his stick down, but face offs can be tough to officiate. Good defense here. Talk to sophomore goalie Tavin Thompson doing a great job calling out the defensive arrangements and locating the ball for the defense. Backside defense does a nice job sloughing in. Coach Schmidt suggesting uh, maybe a little defensive pressure here. Sounds like he doesn't like uh, Centennial's stick skills. Now, eight, a good athlete, takes it to the crease, but a good collapse by the defense, and he retreats. Looks like he came up lame. We hope he's okay. Nice save by Thompson on the bounce shot in close. Ooh, that was high. Ooh, that was high. <laughs> nice clearing pass. Oh, good feed. Brody Samira, I know he's struggling with the Achilles issue, but Winkler saves it. Back to Samira. Samira shopping. Back up to the midfield. I gotta say, on the other end of the field, that was a heck of a pickup and clearing pass by Matt Coland. Freshman long pole. God saved down the alley, pulls the string. Want to see that as a bounce shot. That was high to high, easy for the goalie with no screen in front of him. But a good dodge and a good take. That's what we like. Get good shots on cage. Working on shot selection, shooting ability. That's a separate question. Over the middle. Tonka's got a ride here. Tonka's got a ride. Good. Keep pressing. Centennial stays on the sideline. They complete the touch. Another good save for Tavin Thompson. He can come out of the crease there and run. Colin picks it up again. No help, no help. Tonka, help! Good help from LSM Andrew Ramaker. Nice clear from 28, Matt Colin. Hey, way to battle, Mac. Nice clear, pal. Nice handle from number 11, Brody Samira. Keep that one in bounds. Philip Winkler shopping, looks backside to bank, now to Hatch. Hatch had numbers, feeds the middle. Oh, hands aren't quite there, but that was pretty nice ball movement from the blue and white. Nice recognition by Hatch. He could have taken that shot, but saw he had a teammate on the crease and fed down. A little bit better hands on the team, and that's a goal. I'd rather see good progress on passing and recognizing. Oh, nice stick. Great defensive pressure. Colin now rumbling through the middle. Oh, ah. couldn't quite pick up the ground ball. Sometimes on the turf, just kind of sports. Tonka recovers on defense. Again, good continued communication from sophomore goaltender Tavin Thompson. Defense sloughing in to be help if there's a dodge here. Midfielder shopping. Moves it over. Centennial content to kind of take their time here on this possession. Nursing a one goal lead, probably about halfway through the second quarter here. I'd like to see Matt Cole and press there. I don't think 24 has the stick skills to handle heavy defensive pressure, but that's probably not the matchup you want. Matt's liable to get an easy call because he's about twice that kid's size. Didn't. 
two. <clears throat> so more of Centennial's man up offense. Tonka's five defenders squeezing in the crease. They got a, a U shape here. We'll see if they're, sometimes we call it a four and one. The guy in the middle, so that here would be Cal. Uh, up a guard on a on kind of on a string we call him so he will flex up when the ball's high and kind of retreat down the goal of this defense is to get out on hands and then recover quickly good out on hands now recover quickly now recover quickly now recover quickly you're going to leave a guy open fortunately a good slide there forces a low angle shot Tavin Thompson hugging the pipe and that one squirts out Number four, Thomas Osterman, new to lacrosse, I think, doing a nice job with the with the long pole in his hand. Oppegaard clears it with his feet, gets the touch, looks for a midfield. And Winkler open for the skip pass, but you can tell Oppegaard doesn't quite trust the stick yet. Hey. Now go, Brody. Now go, Brody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winkler has a look for a sweep here, moves it up to the midfield. Tonka's going to complete its substitution with Oppegaard stepping off. Tonka needs one. Here he comes. In the form of number 15, Dominic Eskenas. Samira behind to Winkler, over to Bank. I hear 300 for Soltau, so we're going to see number 16 here, Marcus Soltau, the lefty, sweeping across the top, and here he goes. That was a ward, no call. Nice pass oh. to Winkler, though. Good take. The lacrosse coach in me wants to tell him, don't take that low to high sidearm shot. Take a three-quarter unbound shot. What are you going to do? Bank pushing up the alley. Has help in the middle. Oh, oh lucky. lucky stick from Centennial knocks the ball down. And Tonka's here for the ride, recovers. That's a hold. Are you kidding me? Clear hold. Slash. Slash again. <laughs> Good job by Tonka enduring. You can tell Soltau frustrated by that pass. Yeah, it's okay, Marcus. Don't hang your head. Yeah, let's ride. Squeeze to the sideline. That's a pass. I'll be honest, Tonka Nation, I thought that was a shot too, or just a bad one. Kid doesn't have the skill to take a good shot. But here we go. Nice pass from Soltau. <laughs> That's okay. Good hustle. It's just stick skills. Get back and ride. Get back and ride. It's just stick skills. Here we go. Turn your head. Turn your head. Talk to squeeze the middle. Got to delay as much as you can. Go get over there. Go get over there. Big athletic deep hole. There's a pole goal for Centennial from a big athletic defender. Tonka's got to stop him. So stick skills and ability to possess the ball continue to be the skipper's enemy. You kind of expect that with a raw team. A lot of new players, younger players. Brody Lee on the near wing. Off a guard at the faceoff, and Andrew Ramaker, experienced LSM on the far wing. <laughs> Off a guard wins the clamp. Good box out. Nice. Nice job from number five to secure possession for Tonk at a time they need it. Winkler feeds Lee. Great cut from Brody Lee. Good defensive possessor. We're going to have a hold, a loose ball hold or a 
maybe a push, but Tonka recovers the ball, so no flag. Behind to Winkler again. Over to Bank. Lots of sweep for Brody Lee, so we'll see number three carry across the top here and pull this lefty. Easy slide. There it is. Oh. You see it, tries to throw through the defender. Good job boosting it out. Winkler pulls it out of traffic. Is he going to look to feed? He does, gets it across backside to Bank. Bank now looking to dodge. Nice. And Bank cans one. Bank, his arm momentarily hung up in the defender's stick, does a nice job getting his hands free again. Getting out, turning the corner, and finishing on the near pipe. Nice take from number six, good recognition. But that defender had no backup. That's when you want to dodge. And Mason Dunlap just told him the same thing. When you see the other side of the field overloaded, you just go. Up guard again, wins the clamp, boxes out. Raking, needs to pick it up. Runs through traffic. Another nice face-off win for Carol Oppegard. They need a touch. They get it. One more pass. Winkler on the crease. Oh, oh Centennial deflected. tips it. Loose ball on the crease. Ooh, that was in the head. Slide Got down it. against Centennial. Free play here for the skips. That'll be a one-minute slash against Centennial. As the down check caught, I think, Winkler in the head. Turf. Oh. oh. Brody Lee pulled the string, but the hot, the shot high and wide again. Three quarter on bounce shots, people. Make them say it with their prayers at night. <laughs> I will take three quarter on bounce shots tomorrow. <laughs> so the first we'll see today of the skipper's man up for one minute. Penalties releasable if the skipper score. We're back to all even. Centennial sends in their five-man man-down unit. Let's see what we got. Fisher doing a nice job on the restart. Samira up to God save. Over to Winkler, top center. Winkler threatens. Over to Soltow in the lefty spot. Brody Lee looking. Got to move the ball quicker than that. Oh. Soltow with another kind of sidearm to high shot. Sales. Just high above the cage. Must be low on time. The coach is telling Winkler to hold the ball. That means there will be no face-off at the other side of the half. Tonka in possession during the uneven man situation means that no face-off for the next restart. So we'll have a quick halftime here. Tonka will start with the ball in their offensive end in the second half. Forgot to change the quarters.
think he's been roughing a lot because I've seen him a lot. So maybe the experience is done well. Nice restart by the senior official here. Soltau gets the touch. Hey, man. How's that? Better. Better. What's up, G? Tonka's still in their man up. Soltau on that high lefty spot to Lee. Lee sweeping across the top, looking for a cut. Back to oh, the bank. Is. Bank's going to can it. Yeah. Just oh, outside. no, it's outside than that. Oh. I won't embarrass Brian. That's what they call a grandma goal because only the grandmas are here. <laughs> <laughs> We're still Tonka learning. Tonka in a good ride, though. Picks it up. Oh, God save buries it in the goalie's cup. But Tonka retains possession. We're all even now. Nice cut from Soltau. Brody Lee thought about it, decided the better. Bank backside. Back to Samira. Skip to Ooh. Lee. Dangerous. Lee can go righty right here real fast, but it takes too long. The key to good offense is moving quick. On ball and off ball. The longer you wait, the more time the defense has to recover. Winkler over to Bank, going right away. A little interference from Brody Samira shows his experience and IQ. As he pushes across the crease, he drags his defender with him, creating space for Bank. Lee now oh, on the left wing, draws it. the flag on the slash. Defender tried to take advantage of his height difference with Brody Lee. Go over the head, came right down on his lid. So Centennial looking at another one-minute slash there. Now Bank behind a Winkler. Tonka can take its time here. Looks like Coach dialed up Winkler for a zero dodge. Winkler thinking about which way he wants to go. Does he want to feed? Nice fake. Deeks his defender. Oh. Outside the cage, Tonka retains possession. Good IQ from Winkler there to get his defender looking and create a little advantage. Nice take from Bank. Smoked off the near pipe. Out of bounds behind. Doesn't matter who has a run out with the flag down. It's Tonka's ball. More of Minnetonka man up. Goalie flinched. Didn't want any of that smoke. One more Tonka man up here, Winkler to Soltau. Good man, how are you? Hang on, good, wait for the quarter. Ooh. Oh. Good sidearm take from Soltau. Looked like it hit somebody Red. on the way to the goal. Trickles back. They say the defender or goalie was closer. So Centennial ball on the restart. Tonka with an extra man on the ride here can mark everybody up. Should be shutting off. Completely shutting off. Soltau, don't, don't leave him. Nice. I think that was Sayer Bank, dispossessed the Centennial midfielder. Brody Lee picks it up, looks to the goal. Winkler open backside. Oh, oh Lee tries to pass through the pole. Good stick by Centennial defender number 27. But the clearing pass goes over. Trickles out of bounds. That'll be Tonka ball coming back. Let's go, Marcus. Marcus Soltau on the restart for Minnetonka. Carries down. Brody Lee with the ball now. Tonka completes the touch on the restart. Bank from the wing. I'd like to see him dodge from here. Coach Dunlap calls for oh. Winkler. Nuts. That pass goes short. Got to do more to save that ball. Keep it in. Winkler on the restart. Lucky he didn't get a delay a game there. He was a little close on the restart. And defended the defender. Defended the inbounds. Woo! Yeet! Gilman clear. Come on, boys. <laughs> Max Ah, shit. Trail official says that was a pass, not a shot. The word spotted Minotonka. Osterman on the restart. Little look off. Osterman's getting it. Up to Lee. Yeah, That's a good Brody. clear. Brody Lee using his feet. Completes the touch. To 
decides to slow it down, set up the offense, complete the substitution. Move it one more. We got Sanders on the wing. Good. You can pass over a short stick, not over a deep hole. Sanders back to Winkler. Bank cutting inside, looking for a pass. Winkler needs to move his feet. 27's a big athletic defender. Winkler again using his stick skills to get a little space. Up to Sanders, who drops the ball, but quickly re regathers. Here. This will be a righty sweep. There's the slide. Cal finishes. Shot back pipe. Kind of a lazy chase there, but Minnetonka retains possession. I know the kid who was lazy there. <laughs> Guess he decided he was close enough. And he was, so here we go. Bill Blinkler on the restart from the end line. Looking to dodge. Little hitch, looking to feed. Right Frank there. Lee. Yes! Takes. Number seven, Philip Winkler. Great shopping to number He's three, right. Brody Lee. Catch and release fishing. Brody Lee cans it in the top left corner. Yeah. I get two all or? Two, two. Two, two. Yeah. So that, that knots the score at two. Off, boxing out, boxing out. Still loose, still loose. Let's check from Colin. Colin gather. He does. Nice spin. Nice job, man. Colin, tornado's out of trouble. He's going to go with his feet. Tornado's again. <laughs> oh, they got him. Caught up to him. Need a touch, just chuck it! He doesn't know. It. So Tonka, once they cleared it with possession, had 10 seconds to get a touch on the box. That's a high IQ thing. You gotta recognize we haven't completed the touch. We're under the 10 second count. I just have to throw it up to the offensive end. Tough for a new player to recognize that, but they will get there. Another loose ball by Colin. Let's see if he can hoover up this one. He does, looking for a pass now. Good job by Tommy Sanders to help. Oh, Sanders just kind of fumbles as he tries to roll back. Winkler riding. They gave him the shorty. Loose ball in the middle. Colin working it all by himself. He's Mac. Another ground ball for number 28, nice Mac Colin to God save. Watch your six, number nine. Watch your back. God save. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Woo! Over to Bank on the wing behind a Winkler. No laundry, huh? Let's go shoot it. No laundry on the field. Aggressive slide. Oh, Whoop! Come on. Hey, get deep. Get deep. They're pushing numbers. Goalie, call it a Gilman clear, named for the Gilman School. In Baltimore. And you just send it. Sometimes you'll hear a coach yell, cheap it, or send it. Here you go, Philip. sends it back to Sanders. Maybe uh, overestimated Tommy's height. <laughs> Tyler, 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 Tyler. Good athlete here, number 27 for Centennial on the restart. Tonka needs to cheat left, not cover the middle of the field. That's an easy overpass and an easy clear. Nice job by Tavin Thompson to keep one foot in the crease so he wasn't out and back. Sends it back. Son again. Winkler, afraid of number 27, <laughs> dips out from picking up that ground ball. Yeah, they both take him out. I get it. That kid's ahead taller than he is. We're going to have a timeout on white. Coach Luke Schmidt looks a little frustrated. Doesn't want to play lacrosse this way. He wants to play it the right way, so he's going to talk to him. I mean, these long passes going from left to right, it's got to be tough for the offense to catch. Yeah, he's got a lot to say. 
it didn't matter. Like, well, there's an art to clearing, and you spend, especially at the younger <laughs> age, I don't know, at least a third of the game clearing the ball and riding. And it's hard to devote that much time to it in practice when you have other things to work on. Day one, I was like super Flag down on those two <laughs> hard checks, both right on the shoulder, nowhere near stick. Yeah. No home field advantage here, folks. Nope. <sighs> so with the timeout expired, Taka retakes the field. There's the whistle for the restart. Centennial now has 20 seconds to get their players out. <laughs> Trail official here signaling field is ready. It's not bad. Who's got the ball? Brody? Brody Lee? Brody Lee has the ball. Far side of the field near the midline. I don't know what we're waiting for. I heard the timer. Here goes Brody Lee. They need a touch. He gets it. Circles back. Over to Sanders. Down to Winkler. Zero on bank. Go right now. No. Son of a gun. Hey, be ready to follow. Be ready to follow. Bank going hard towards his right hand. Wants the inside roll lefty. Pulls back to zero. Over to Sanders. Oh, Sanders snatches at the ball, bats it away. That'll be a loose ball push on Centennial. White ball in the alley. Physical play from Centennial. Brody Lee looking to sweep. No slide out of the crease. Nice pass oh. back. That's where you need a left hand, right? You want to have your stick in your left hand there so it's up. Nice job, Brody. Brody Lee in pursuit of this ball all by himself. Okay, the tiny nice. midfielder who could do it all. Out. Yes! <laughs> I think that was Lee uh, to Winkler. Oh. oh, that was outside. Another grandma goal. Another grandma goal. <laughs> one on the far side. Bank picks it up, though. Right away. Oh. Feeds, step in, shoot past the oh. defender. Another good take. Just misses the back pipe. I think that is Jonah Jealous, huh? Must be. A short was, stick, huh? Was playing pole. They put a shorty back in his hand. Need him to run. I would have recognized those legs anywhere. <laughs> They had him playing pole, I think. I'm like very Nice rollback by Soltau. Lee's gonna save this, can he? Hurry, 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 hurry. That'll be over and back. Hey, just drop and ride. Drop and ride. Turn your head. Turn your head. Easy touch for Centennial, no pressure, Tonka tired. Gives Centennial the possession. Dangerous in a 2-2 game. Here he goes to the crease, doing everything he can. Could have been, oh, Colin loses the ball. He picks it up again, saves it in bounds. Oh, nice. Let's go, let's go, White. Nice feed bank, oh, that is a great, hey, that's the right look. That's the right look. That was a shot. <laughs> quarter in the quarter. That's the right look. Nice clear. Good defensive play there. Good clear. Good recognition. Could have threatened the shot. Then had Sayer Bank behind the defender. Giving Bank an opportunity to go to the goal. It's a good look. Again, just stick skills. That stuff will work itself out.
All right, here we go for some fourth quarter action between the Minnetonka Skippers. And Centennial, what is their mascot? You know? I don't know. I saw it on one of their helmets, but I can't remember anymore. That's just if you know, folks. I only know their tournament, <laughs> the Summer Sizzle. Tonka's defense to you right now. Sophomore Tavin Thompson still in goal. Ree Lee on the near wing. Cougars. 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 Garrett Alston says the Centennial Cougars all out. He's a smart kid. Fourth quarter, not at a two. Off the guard, breaking the ball. Needs to just be able to scoop through and escape, not quite <laughs> trusting his stick yet. Looking to bat it out. Still loose. Oh, come on, Off come on, come on, come on. Can't quite pick it there up. There we Lee go. now gets it, gets the touch. Down to Winkler on the far wing. Behind the Samira at X. Coach doing a nice job getting everybody in now. Numbers I don't recognize because I don't have Chris Bank here to read me the roster. And I don't know everybody's number yet. <laughs> Ooh, that's Hatch, number one. Good take, but parks it in the defender's chest. Great ride here, though. Tyler White, 21. Tyler White, number 21. Good clear by Centennial Pole. Good find for his attackman, but the attackman misses the back pipe by a couple feet. Centennial wins the run out though and will retain possession. Number six looking to dodge the lefty alley, rolls back, rolls back to the midi, looking to sweep to the righty. Big outside worm burner, but Thompson all over that. Gives up the rebound though behind. Oh, get on him. Trouble picking it up. Good job by Coland. Loose ball, still loose. Good defense here. Nice overpass from Coland. Thompson does a great job keeping nice. that oh, no. crease again. Up, up, up. High pass to Lee though. Sails a little wide. Tough shot here. Goalie ball. Oh my goodness. Goalie was closer. Red was above GLE. Far side official says red ball. So Centennial on the restart. Cole in the on ball defender. Osterman to his right on the near wing. Now recover. Now recover. Sammy Godsey back in Brody Lee. Nice help there. Good job by Tonka, recognizing quick out to Lee. Lee's going to use his quick feet. Here he goes. Oh, that should be a slash. All Jesus. Hip. Not a single slash call. Wow. This <laughs> ball pushed, so Tonka retained possession in their offensive end. Ball in the far alley with Donnie Hatch. Our weight number 21 on the crease at midfield. Coach Dunlap talking to the team, asking him to settle the offense, get it figured out. Back there to Lee. Lee considers skipping the hatch, thinks the better of it. Coach calling for a 100 on Brody Lee. So here goes number three down the lefty alley. Pulls the string. Low, yes. high to low shot. Three-quarter arm bouncer. Back pipe. Just inside the pipe. And that puts Tonka up by a goal. Maybe a third of the way through the fourth quarter here. This would be a much different game if we kept shooting like that. Nice take, Brody. Koskinas on the near wing, drop a guard at face-off dot. Lucas Graham, the LSM on the far wing. Good moved a little early, won the clamp, but Lucas, oh, could have had a hold there, but Apa guard wins the loose ball. Still doesn't trust the stick, but spirals out of trouble, puts it in one hand. You can tell he doesn't trust the stick under pressure, that'll come. He's doing a great job at the face-off dot. 
Keep pressing, keep pressing. Come on. Good check. Good check from Tommy Osterman. Osterman picks up the loose ball in the corner. That's a late. Back over. Give him help. Good clear from Tonka. Uh oh. Just run, just run, just run. Askinas, nice clear. Looking for help now. Does get the touch. The lefty shot, good shot. Bounced off a defender's leg. Bank with a quick pickup. Oh. Has Winkler through. The size the better of it. Back to Askinas. Over to Winkler. Tonka going to possess here, set it up. Over to Samira in the near corner. On a zero on Sayre Bank. Bank should have gone right there. Don't need to set it up. Just go. Get the defense when they're in disarray. Bank pushing the slide quick. Bank climbs, fires. Ball deflected. Centennial goalie recovers the loose ball in the crease. Tonka drops to ride. No slash here. He's got no stick skill, so push hard. Try to force a loose ball. Loose ball. There's Askinas, Johnny on the spot. Chase, one on. Askinas looking, rolls out of trouble. So tell your, tell your kids when they're under pressure, just run away. You no need to force it. A lot of field here to work with. Good job by Thomas. Good safety timeout by the official. Asking uh, Sayer Bank to make sure his helmet's strapped up. It came unstrapped at some point during play. Tommy Sanders, over to Dominic Oskos. Bank on the far wing carries now. Winkler behind, shoved out of bounds. We're gonna have a loose ball push, but Winkler clearly had possession. In any event. The ball in the near alley with Brody Samira. Tonka maybe just looking to kill here. But Centennial's going to press hard. Coach calls 300 on Tommy Sanders. So Askinas got to get the ball to Sanders and then get through the crease quickly. Askinas needs to get out of the way now. Sanders fakes the lefty alley. Here he comes on the sweep. Quick slide. Sanders deep into the alley, pulls his trigger. It's something in traffic, but Winkler recovers. Looks for bank on the crease in traffic. Now a loose ball. Ball up, ball up. Tommy Sanders, a little bulldog there, tracking the loose ball as the Centennial defender does a nice job getting it out of the defensive end. Official says off white, red ball. Time surely winding down at this point in the fourth. Centennial, only 10 seconds to get a touch here. Do they recognize it? Press. No press, touch, press. no touch, Tommy. Tonka doesn't press, and so they get the touch, but sail it wide. Again, maybe that's Sun coming into play for the attackman receiving that high pass. We're going to see Tommy Osterman on the restart. With no defender or no attackman riding him right away. We're in the far corner. Osterman needs to either oh, tough to the goalie. Thompson to Lee. Good pass from Osterman to, to Tavin Thompson in goal. And then a nice pass from Thompson to Lee, who clears it with his feet, gets a touch. Over to Samira, who wisely settles, moves it to X. Winkler again has a pass deflected with the defender on his hands. Nice outlet to Sanders. Sanders possesses. Sends Sanders to the crease. Brody Lee controlling up top. Kyle Kusar, your midi on your far top left corner by the Tonka bench. Coach Dunlap calling for a zero dodge. So when the ball works back to X behind the goal, we'll see Winkler go. He's got to go fast. The defender pushes him out. Again, learning how to play against bigger, faster competition. So IQ changes. Tonka riding to... Oh, 
Good check. Tonka does a nice job on the ride, dispossessing the Centennial midfielder after a nice clearing pass from Centennial's goalie. Tonka attack dispossessing that midfielder, picking up the loose ball. Centennial giving it everything they got here. That's a hold on 28. Flag is down. Push, Brody. The shot. Ooh. Samira does a great job battling through traffic, bringing a stick across his face and back to the inside, and then drawing a slash after nearly missing the cage. So we'll have a, a hold on the far side official against Centennial, and then a slash on their deep hole on the crease. Tonka will be two men up for a minute. The first penalty, the hold, will be released after 30 seconds. If Tonka scores a goal in that time, both penalties will be released. So game clock matches, the well, game clock is 130, according to the far side ref. Running time here, the longer penalty here is one minute, the hold 30 seconds. Brody Lee with the ball on the far wing. Let's see if Tonka chooses to kill or attack the cage. And if so, which and when? And they gotta keep it in the box here. That's right, we're inside two minutes. Tonka leading by four goals or fewer means they have to keep it in the offensive box. Brody Lee does just that, but then the... Defender does a nice job pushing it outside the box. That's illegal procedure against Tonka. The longer these loose balls go on, the better it is for Tonka. Brody Lee steps in the box and then under defensive pressure. But the near side ref calls that big slash, which he did. Brody turned and it was a big outside in check. Caught Brody Lee in the hip. That's a good call. So Centennial still two men down. That first 30 second penalty having expired. Tonka ball. I think from here, Tonka will just kill and keep it in the box. If Centennial presses hard, Tonka should work the ball and look to score. That's game. That'll be the game. The official didn't signal it. But <laughs> so the Skippers lodge the win 3-2 to two in a tough one against a fast and physical Centennial, we think Cougars. <laughs> Good game both sides. Beautiful day.